All right, now let me make sure that my controller is set up correctly, because I want to play, try and play this with the controller. Give me just a sec. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Sweep a leaf, sweep away a troubles. A troubles, okay. Um. Yeah. Now we shall play Undertale and have some fun because I think it's time to date a skeleton. Ooh, excuse me, pizza. Had Domino's, Memphis barbecue chicken. Man, that was tasty. Nope, not there. Do I have Papyrus's number? Let's see. Ah, uh, nope, I don't. Yeah, this is my normal voice. Well, mostly normal. Oh god, I have to do Papyrus's voice again. I need water for this. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's talk to a skeleton. So, you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Over here? In the library? No. To the bar? No. Passing the library again. My house! Always a good time. Oh yeah, Sans theme. What's this over here? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Okay. I'll take it. Let's see if I can do this right. Ah, dang it. Ah. Wow, being a good host is a real workout. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it, and I just like reading this because I remember this from last time. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. <laughs> you, mo <laughs> you moved it two inches, move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say now to bring it back to my room? <laughs> Forget it! Hey, it's all I do. I thought I talked to Papyrus, okay. It's a joke book. Take a look inside, because it totally can't be filled with puns. Oh, inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. I wonder why. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. Oh yeah, this is a quantum physics joke. It's repeating itself, two things at the same place. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Nothing I can do here. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Is there anything in here? 
always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. Do 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 do. Spaghetti. It's a song. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. It probably sands. Ziz. Chips. Is this a trash? Yep. That's the trash can. Feel free. Feel free to visit it any time. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oops. <laughs> There's the dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> oh, man. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Yeah. Good times. So shall we go to the room? That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Not yet. I want to see if there's any change in the couch. You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. Jangling. Oh, I do find a bunch of loose change in the couch. Coins inside the couch. Ooh, 20G. Anything else? It's a saggy old couch. Oh, yeah, stovetop. There's an empty pie in the sto Empty pie tin in the stove. Hmm. Hmm, I say. I wonder what it would be. I wonder what it would be. That's my room. If you are finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. I think we should go inside and kind of have a fun with the date. I'm going to try and see what else I can do this time. Okay. Bones. Hey, those are all my the attacks I use on you. Great memories, huh? It seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was just basically just happened. It's so quiet in this room. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. That would mean you're in the negatives. Of course! Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns and a goofy font. Yeah, I wonder if it's your brother. Couldn't be. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. It's no big surprise. Complex manuals and children's books. That didn't seem that complex. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I make so many? Or how do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! My voice is gonna die. I swear to God. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, that's non-existent, sun on my skin, that's non-existent, of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. 
Okay, I think that's about as much as I can explore. Except this door. There are new skeletons inside my closet! Except me, sometimes. Papyrus, are you in the... <laughs> are you in the closet? Oh my goodness, I didn't know you were kind of that kind of skeleton. Mm -hmm. Look in the closet. Ooh, yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Aw, nothing exciting. Um, yeah. Nope. It's okay to be intimidated by my fashion sense. So, um... <laughs> oops, that was me on accident. So, um... If you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yeah. Time to go to the bone zone! Okay, dating start! Dating start. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Okay. Oh, hey, it's Thursday at nighttime. Wowie, I feel so informed. Reel it in. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That's bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Sure. Whoops. Dating it. No! You planned it all! You're way better dating than I am! No, no! Your dating power! That was fast. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I wonder if what happens if I do, I hate it. I'm gonna try it. No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care! Okay, I guess that works anyways. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Anything about your socks? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. There's no secret... Oh. Let's see what's over his shoulders. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. <laughs> um, oh my... But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. Anything about your hands? Holding my hands so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. My hat, my hat, my hat. 
Oh, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j -j just for you. Let's open it. Oh, yeah, spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course, it's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong! This ain't just any plain, any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Soaked in spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'll have to try and eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. It's no pasta. It's an impasta. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh. Uh. No. Sorry, I just love voice in this part. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hard in here is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper onto your, zen into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your core friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Let's call him.